By circular dated the 23rd of March and addressed to all heads of courts, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed, gave the order for a partial shutdown of all courts across the country from the 24th of March as part of measures to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The only exceptions were for urgent, essential or time-bound cases according to the extant laws. And for me, each of the courts, with profound respect, each of the courts is set up by a head. There are laws, enabling laws, setting up the courts, the relevant provision of the Constitution, and the rules of court. The Chief Justice of Nigeria lacks the power under the current constitutional arrangement to lock down all courts in Nigeria. Mr. Falano cites pending applications for the enforcement of fundamental rights, the need for a review of expired remand orders, and pending judgments as some cases which are awaiting the attention of the courts. Of course, there's also a loss of revenue. Apart from the budgetary allocation, the judiciary typically generates revenue from filing fees, penalties paid for late filing of processes, costs imposed by the courts on litigants and lawyers, and even revenue from the probate registry. Efforts to get figures from the heads of courts were unsuccessful, but many lawyers told Channels Television that the loss runs into several millions of naira. Do people do not realize that the judiciary also generates income on probate matters? And probate alone... Um, it has been said that has generated almost um, more than 30 million in a month. So you, it is very hard to say what kind of losses that the judiciary is suffering now, but they are enormous. There is no doubt that the coronavirus pandemic has exposed the weaknesses inherent in the administration of justice in the country. While other countries of the world have introduced reforms that ensure that their court system continue to run without disruption in situations like this, the Nigerian judiciary has refused to evolve and embrace technology. So the question is, with all these platforms available, why is it that the Chief Justice of Nigeria didn't say to himself, we have a crisis, we have a medical emergency which makes it difficult for us to meet physically, therefore I want to know what are the solutions we have? And someone has said, Sir, have you heard of Skype? Sir, have you heard of Zoom? The global health emergency which COVID-19 presents provides a great opportunity for the Nigerian judiciary to kickstart the process of reform by joining the rest of the world to digitalize its processes. It's therefore important for all stakeholders to give up their old ways of doing things and embrace the change that's inevitable. Shola Sheele, Channels Television News.